This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, and verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodesh. Double honors to our venerable apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And peace and blessings to the Lord's elect, the house of David. All right, so Brother Aharon, coming back at you with another lesson, low willing to be edifying and uplifting unto the elect. All right, and um, I have an article I want to go into real quick. Again, these are the signs of the times. All right, and um, there's a so-called government shutdown, all right, coming up on the first of this month or next month. All right, and uh, that's in a couple of more days. But it seems like a lot of things are lining up for the time of trouble. Okay, the time that we've been, you know, the prophets, starting from my elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down, been talking about for years and years and years and years and years. Okay, the time of turmoil, the time of chaos, the time of trouble, the time of uh, martial law and FEMA camps and all these different things. All these things that lead to the MOTB, it looks like we are actually leading into those days. Okay, we're about to enter into the gates of, of so-called hell, if you will. Okay, recently you had the... Um, so-called UN, um, I think, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, his first name, I forget, but his last name is Gutierrez. Okay, he was saying it that um, basically people have opened up the portals of hell, the gates of hell, if you will, right? So that's them telling you or telling the world all right, that they're about to unleash, okay, the beast, if you will, okay? And all signs are pointing to a very, very devastating time. Indeed, a time like never before. Okay? And we're going to add a few things together and uh, we'll close it out. All right? Title says, the U.S. consumer is starting to crack. Consumer spending has been holding up the economy. Over the summer, it seemed the U.S. economy could defeat inflation without a crash but that confidence could soon crack under pressure coming from several fronts. Okay. Uh, what's that? Um, pressure from above, pressure from below. I believe that's, that's, that's how it goes. But again, these are, these are the times that we're in. Okay. No matter what you do, no matter where you turn, it's nothing but hell. Okay. Hell in the form of bills and uh, payments and so on and so forth. Okay. But again, it's, it's all the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay. It says, even as interest rates skyrocketed over the past 18 months, a good job market and strong consumer spending kept the U.S. economy moving. This led to hope that a soft landing was coming where the Federal Reserve could defeat inflation without millions of Americans losing their jobs. However, there are growing signs that the strength of the U.S. consumer is starting to crack. Mm. First, the student loan payment restart on October 1st is expected to drain $8 billion a month. A month. A month. $8 billion a month. Now, ask yourself, does the, uh, does the, the, the average person, or in this case, the $8 billion a month that's leaving Okay, the consumers, does it come into the consumers' uh, pockets a month, $8 billion? I don't think so. Okay, I don't think so. But it could, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. All right, um, because <laughs> when you feel the pulse of the people, a lot of people are going broke. Okay, um, gas prices are going up. Okay, rent is going up. All right, uh, they're taking a whole bunch out of uh, out of your taxes now, off a of ridiculous ass shit that you can't even understand. Okay, somebody wake up one day, they're like, "Yo, last week everything was fine. This week I got this bill, I got that bill. I'm t I'm getting paid. I'm getting taxed from this and that. You know, all of a sudden the the bills just keep flowing in. It's like, what, what happened? Where did these all come from? Hmm." 
So $8 billion a month from consumers. It says the impact on spending will be enormous. Okay, so in other words, no Christmas this year. <laughs> All right, if you got plans for any holiday spending, any of that, uh, we strongly, I strongly suggest that you, you hold on to your money, uh, whatever you got. Okay, and start investing in some silver or whatever, because, yeah, it's about to get crazy. Okay, it says in a Morgan Stanley survey, 37% of Slacky. In a Morgan Stanley survey, 37% of respondents said student loan payments would force them to cut their spending in their in other areas. Okay, which is something people can't really afford to do. When you when you got student loans that you gotta pay, what other uh, uh, areas are you going to stop? You know, or are you gonna cut spending on? You know, maybe you might have a gym membership. You might cut that down. Okay. Uh, you might have some type of other payments. You might cut that down, Netflix or whatever. A lot of people are going to start cutting these things down because guess what? Your jobs that you have now, for the most part, they're not matching the economy. Okay, it looks like a lot of people are working, you know, a whole lot more just to make ends meet. Okay, really, you're working to pay bills at this point. It's an it's a endless cycle of tr a stress, okay, and, and tragedy. All right, it's a tragic, tragic, tragic world. All right, and, and, and you were warned that this these days will come. All right, prior to 2020, people were living life, chilling, everything was good. And I remember this. I remember brothers was out there. We were saying it every, every week that this is the best it's going to be because when this shit goes down, it's about to be a wrap. We kept saying that. Okay? And, and you got people who are still chilling, having a good old time, and neglecting, all right, uh, the consequences of reality. But guess what? It's going to hit them. And it's going to wrap them up. Okay, it's not just going to hit you, it's going to wrap you up and take you with it. Okay, for a bumpy ride. All right. So they're saying that a lot of people are going to start cutting spending on, on other areas and 34% said they wouldn't be able to make the payments at all. 34%. Okay, and the government, the, the system knows this. They know this. The elites know this. It's all done by design. Okay. It says elsewhere, gas prices are soaring. With oil prices at their highest level of 2023, there are signs of cost of gas. Uh, there are signs the cost of gas could ease next year. That's not true, but that would only be after it gets worse first. There you go. Okay, so they're gonna hit the people where it really hurts again. Like I always say, you know, America has to be decreased to some type of third world country. Okay, in order for them to have that control. They have to, they have to, um, you know, demoralize the people to a degree where the people are the ones who are coming in and saying, listen, we'll do whatever you want. Okay. They killed the food processing plants, uh, plants all of last year into this year, even prior to that. Okay. It was a 2020, 2021, there was fires in all these, you know, food processing, uh, factories. Animals were getting killed out of nowhere. Uh, uh, farmers had to burn up their animals because of so-called CV and all this shit. Okay, that's taking a toll on the on the meat meat market. Okay, on the food market, and it's opening up the way for Esau to come in with his so-called uh, 3D printed meat filled with mRNA vanessas and shit. All right, poisons, poison after poison after poison. Okay. And when you when you call it out, they call it misinformation. That's how you know this, these these devils are going down. Okay, and we're not going to stop until you devils are taken out the way. All right. So it says uh, it, 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 it's going to get worse. All right, it's going to get worse. It says insurance premiums are spiking across healthcare, home insurance, and autos, hitting Americans in their wallets, and it's all done by design. You got to question yourself. You got to ask yourself why now. Okay, why now? Why is that all these things all of a sudden everybody's just bugging out? And then they say, oh, well, you know, um, you know, it's because of the, 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 the government interest rates and all these different things. It's affecting everybody else. No, this is all done by design. Okay. It says the U.S. personal savings have plummeted after surging during the demic. According to data from San Francisco Fed, these Excess savings could run out this quarter. Mm. Mm. It says, <laughs> then there are the unknowns. 
how long will the United Auto Workers strike last? If it drags on, it could have a huge impact on Americans. The most obvious being a loss of jobs for auto workers. Beyond that, there's a potential to drive up inflation and monthly car payments. Things that will be felt far beyond Michigan, where a local recession is now possible. Okay, they say in uh, 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 auto workers, it's not just the people who are in the factories. Okay, this is also going to affect those who are in the dealerships as well. Okay, these car dealerships and so on and so forth. All right, and and and, and their whole goal is to what is to do away with these um, models, these cars that we have now, these um, uh, gas. You know, cars, they're going to use uh, EV, electric electric vehicles now. You know, it's all part of the control system. All in the name of uh, 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 fixing uh, this, uh, what they call, uh, climate change. <laughs> oh, boy. It says, will there be a government shutdown? Mm. It's looking pretty likely. And if so, the immediate impact will be validly would be volatility in the stock market and millions of government workers going without pay volatility there you go so let's read that again it's looking pretty likely and if so the immediate impact will be a volatility in the stock market and millions of government workers going without pay millions millions who the hell wants to work without pay it's hard enough working now and getting paid. How much more working without pay? <laughs> it says, <laughs> yo, the, the, these people, man, it's about, to be, it's about to be crazy out here. And then you also, you got to add on into that, the whole concept of this migrant stuff going on. You notice it's not just America that this is happening. It's happening all across Europe and so on and so forth. Okay, now you got a question. Why? Why now? Why all of a sudden all these different countries have their borders open and allowing people from different countries to just flood, just flood in? It's not going to affect the lawmakers and the policymakers. It's affecting the everyday people. Okay, now your supermarkets are going to be flooded, right? Your 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 uh, your 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 resources, whatever is left, is about to be expended on these so-called migrants that are coming in. You see. And, and when you look into these different countries, these people are coming in walling the hell out. There's civil war. There's, there's people beating each other up, fighting each other. This is all part of the race wars that, that's written up in the scriptures. One people shall stand up to fight against another with swords in their hands. That's in 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter. This is about to happen. It's happening in different countries, but it's about to take a whole nother level. All right. It's about to get on a whole nother level which will open up the door for them to bring in martial law. Okay, this is all done by design. Okay, destroy the economy, okay, and create chaos. All right? They got the UN troops ready to go. They call them peacekeepers. Okay? Them blue helmets, niggas, they call them peacekeepers. The UN troops. Why do you think this is all happening worldwide? Okay? It's not just here in America. It's worldwide because they want to bring in their troops. Okay, they want to bring in, they want to usher in their their new and improved robot dogs. Okay, to bring order back into society, they have to bring the chaos, man. And how they bring in the chaos by setting things up. Okay, inflation. Okay, uh, these these uh, um, uh, bills that are out of nowhere. Okay, these new laws. There's a government shutdown coming, like right now at this time. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting and i don't i don't i don't think because uh, you know when you listen it sounds like uh, they're, they're excited about it you know they don't, they don't seem to have any resolution or they're talking about any any way of bringing you know keeping the government open no 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 no. this sounds like it might be extended for, for quite some time and we know we know what these devils always uh preach which is what never let a good crisis go to waste so this might cause a crisis which is the perfect storm it's a perfect storm you see, so will there be a government shutdown? It is looking pretty likely, so on and so forth. It says it'll get more worrisome if it drags on. You see, just like the CV. Oh, we just need to bend the curve two weeks. Next thing you know, the whole world, now they're telling you it's a new normal. Okay, 
And we know these devils are trying to eradicate the concept of the governments that we have today, especially the American government. You know, you have the checks and balances and so on and so forth. The executive branch, the uh, judicial branch, the uh, legislative, they're trying to erase all of that. Okay, the, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights. If there's a government shutdown and all hell breaks loose, then what, what do you think is going to happen? Which we're already in a state of emergency or national emergency. All they need to do is just transfer everything over to FEMA and, 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 and it's, all, it's game on. Okay, and under Rex 84, we're under the premise that they built Rex 84 on, which is a mass exodus of, 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 of so-called uh, aliens or illegal immigrants flocking into the American um, uh, states, okay, from the uh, U.S.-Mexican border, okay? They're going to start rounding them up and so on and so forth, sending them into FEMA camps. That's just a, a, a facade for what they're going to be bringing as a police state very soon, okay? <laughs> it says a prolonged shutdown could increase the chances of the U.S. going into a recession. There you go. Once again, it's a perfect storm. Why now? Why now? You mean to tell me a government is going to be in a shutdown now? When you got all these different things going on at the same time? Hmm. Hmm. It says the punch Americans thought they avoided is still coming. The summer brought renewed hope for the economy. In an August ec economic policy survey, the National Association of Business Economics or Economics found that 69% of business economists polled called a soft landing, at least somewhat likely, up from 30% in March. <laughs> hey, hey, this is, wait, let me get that real quick. Okay. Again. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, of course. Let's see what we got here. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 13. It says, Thou art wearied, wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Right? So these guys are coming out and saying, oh, you know, the 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 in August, in an August economic um policy survey the national association of business e e economy uh, economics all right that's part of the those uh, monthly prognosticators and so on and so forth okay found that 69 percent of business e uh, economists polled called a soft landing at least somewhat likely and guess what the lord is saying that let them come let them stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee so these things that are coming these people are getting it all wrong Oh, well, I, you know, uh, we're going to have a, 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 at least somewhat of a, 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 a soft landing. You know, the findings were similar to a July bank of, uh, of America, of America survey that found 68% of surveyed fund managers expected a slowdown in the economy without a recession. Once again, you're not going to be saved from the things that are about to come upon thee. Okay. Babylon is not going to be healed. It is what it is. Okay, it says, however, a new report this week by the conference board showed U.S. consumer confidence had a much bigger drop in September than expected. Ooh. Ooh. This came just two months after the board recorded its highest level in two years. In an August survey of CEO confidence from the conference board found that 84% of respondents believed a recession would occur in the next 18 months. Mm. It says, Earlier this month, the Fed kept interest rates unchanged, as expected. But commentary from Fed Chair Jerome Powell hinted at rates staying longer for higher, sending stocks lower. The S&P 500 is on track for its worst month of the year. Okay, and once again, they have to eradicate this this current system in order to open up the door for a new system these this new global reset okay powell also said a soft landing is quote possible but also warned that it could be decided by factors quote outside our control 
finished, done, it's over with. Okay? It's over with. Stand now, like Isaiah 47 and 12. Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so, be that be thou shalt be able to profit. If so, be thou mayest prevail. Okay? So Jerome Powell, you one of those people. You're giving false hope. Talking about impossible soft landing. Hey, we, we've been saying there ain't going to be no soft landing, man. See, now if people would have listened to the prophets, they would have been in a better case. You know? It says, Americans are tightening their hold on money. Uh-huh. The economist David Rosenberg say, says it's typical, it typically takes six months for a recession to hit the economy after interest rates increase by this much. And it also takes six months for, for a so-called conspiracy theory to become a reality. So let's check that out. It says JP Morgan pointed out in a recent note a few reasons why the impact of those hike of those hikes has been delayed. At the start of the rate increase, borrowers like existing existing homeowners had low mortgage interest rates locked in. Americans also had a large cash cushion. Uh, Americans also had a large cash cushion, were given relief from student loan payments, and may have had a, a pent-up demand for certain services after the easing of CV restrictions. That lag is starting to come to an end. <laughs> that means your, 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 your peace and safety is coming to an end. Right? It says a recent Bloomberg Markets Live Pulse survey found that 21% of more than 500 investors predicted personal consumption would shrink in the fourth quarter. In the fourth quarter. Okay? The game is on the line in the fourth quarter. Uh huh. A further 56% said consumption would reverse in early 2024. We are already starting to see the signs, the signs of the times. Americans have accrued a record level of credit card debt. In addition, delinquencies on credit cards and auto loans, as well as Chapter 11 bankruptcy filings, are all on the rise. Again, there's a perfect storm because with all this debt, okay, there's what, $1 trillion of credit card debt. This is the first time ever. $1 trillion in credit card debt? You good. <laughs> What? <laughs> it says, and people are spending less on non-essentials and big tickets, uh, big ticket items at places like Costco, which is going to affect Costco, right? They're going to also go out. Uh, they're going to go down and under. Okay. Even dollar stores are starting to feel the pressure of more measured spending after initially benefiting from inflation, as wealthier people looked for more value. If it says so, if you're adjusting your budget. To account for some of these pressures, you're not the only one, and the health of the economy hangs in the balance. You see that? The health of the economy hangs in the balance. Okay, well, what does the scripture say? Let's get that. Let's get that. America, you're done. It's finished. It's over with. Let's see what we got here. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 5, and verse 27. It says, Tiko, thou art weighed in the balances and are found wanting. Okay? In America right now, it's just like ancient Babylon. Okay? You've been weighed in the balance and you've been found wanting. Okay? The Lord has weighed out your, your pros and cons and he said, ah, yeah, you, you're lacking. You're not going to make it. Okay? The Americans and America are not going to make it. All right, it's over with. It's a done deal. It's a wrap. Okay? Just like how the scriptures talk about what? The end. All right, the end. The end has come. We are at the end right now. Okay? And you heard it from the prophets first. Okay? Going all the way back to the 70s, 80s, the 90s, the 2000s, the 2010s, and now lastly, the 2020s. Okay? And this may very well be it. Okay, this so-called government shutdown that's coming, they say on Sunday, the first. Let's see how it plays out, but it's definitely not looking good. 
It's just funny. It's very interesting how they set it up where you got all these people flocking into these countries. Like I said, the migrant stuff. And then they also saying that there's going to be some type of um, broadcasting thing that we talked about on uh, October 4th. Okay. So they, they set everything up. Who knows? Who knows? With all the mingling, who knows? But all we know is there's going to be chaos. Okay. The government shut down. If it's extended, there will be chaos. Okay, under this this regime, back with last, uh, was it 2018, 2019, when it happened under Trump, it was about 30 something days. Okay, it wasn't really that crazy. Life was still going on. People were still living their lives and all so on and so forth. This time, mm -mm, you're not going to get so lucky. Okay, this time you might not get so lucky. All right, let's get this last precept here by our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, and we're going to close it out. Okay. So get ready, man. The time of sorrow is definitely, definitely, definitely at the door. Okay? It's definitely at the door, man. All right. Um, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24. All right. And uh, verse, uh, let's see, verse 6, it says, And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And that's what we've been hearing since what? Since 2016? And even prior to that? You've been hearing World War Three, World War Three, World War Three, Russia, Ukraine, Russia, this, Russia, Syria, this, China, North Korea, Iran. All these countries were gearing up for the times that we're about to enter into, which ultimately will be uh, World War Three and the end of America, Babylon the Great. OK, you got people who say, oh, I don't want to see America be destroyed. I live in America. Hey, well, guess what? It's biblical prophecy. You claim to be a Christian. Why don't you believe the prophecies? Huh? It's in the Bible. It's the same book that you niggas claim to be reading. It's right there. Why don't you believe it? Well, and, 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 and first of all, who in their right mind will want to see this place continue to, to live on? Hmm? We, we, the, America has become a hellhole. Who the hell in their right mind will want to still be here and continue to, to live here and want this place to keep on going? All right. That's why the Lord is about to destroy these people, man. They, 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 they're out of their fucking minds. Okay. You got all kinds of shit, crazy satanic stuff going on at an all-time high. They are just, they just outright just coming out with it. And you still got people just lollygagging, acting like ain't nothing going on. It's like, what happened to, to the consciousness? What happened to people? What happened to common sense? What happened to some type of morality? What happened to questioning uh, madness? Okay? What happened to that? It's almost like now you question the, the madness and you, you're looked at as, as crazy. This place is done. This place is finished. All right. And we can't wait. Okay. Matthew 24, verse 7 continues, says, For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. We've been seeing that over the past five years, if not prior to that. But now it's been intensified. Okay. It's been intensified. It's only going to get worse. All right. It's only going to get worse out of these devils. Okay. They have an agenda and they're not going to stop. It's all to fulfill biblical prophecy. Okay. The Lord said what? All these are the beginning of sorrows. Okay. The beginning of sorrows. So here you go. All right. The U.S. consumer is starting to crack. All right. The U.S. consumer is starting to crack. Anyway, I'm going to leave it off there. Lord willing, you've been edified and informed. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakwadash, the water Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and until next time, Shalom.